Hi friends, welcome to the new session. Today we are going to discuss about the numerical integration. Uh, as we discussed in the last three videos, that is uh, numerical integration for the triple order rule, a Simpson rule, and these uh, integration are provided by the approximation method. Means these are the approximation method from which we have we have finding the integration. So uh, there are uh, in the approximation method there are some errors. So in this video we are learn about the what are the errors uh, occur. In the triple rule as well as the Simpson the one third rule. So here we have in the formula that is for first we are going to find the error for the triple rule. So triple rule is uh, error due to triple rule is m to b minus a to 12 n square. So those who are don't know what is b and what is a. So I will explain here. Here i is equal to integration of a to b f of x dx. So here a is the lower limit and b is the higher limit and what is the n so here uh, we have the n value that is n is equal to b minus a divided by h so in this way you can find in the h value or uh, n value and then this formula is make this suitable for this now the question remain what is m2 m value of f double dash of x the, the two denoters is a double derivative okay in the interval a and b so we have to find the maximum value of f double dash of x in the interval of a and b so this is the formula for the triple order rule error final error okay now some important points to, should we remember for the triple order rule are triple order rule gives the exact value at an integral if f of x is polynomial function of degree 0 or 1 if the polynomial function is degree of 0 means there is no degree or it is degree 1 then we are getting the exact answer for the by using the trapezoidal rule. So, what is the degree 0 and degree 1? So, if the function is f of x, we call it as a0. Means, there is the 0 degree. There is x present will be having the degree 0. Or, otherwise we can say that a0 plus a1 x. So, this having the degree, x has a degree 1. So, they, if the equation is likewise, so our uh, trapezoidal rule gives the exact answer. If the interval at which f of x is uh, tabul uh, tabulated is haveled, the error would be reduced by eighth, uh, by eighth order. Means, if we half the uh, number of intervals, then we get the uh, error reduced by the eighth well, eighth well. These two important points should be remembered. Next will be we are going to see the Simpson rule. So, Simpson rule providing the error that is m4 b minus a raised to 5 180 n raised to 4. So, here m4 means is the fourth derivative we have, we, means we have to find the fourth derivative of the equation that will show uh, I will mention here m4 is equal to maximum value of fourth power in the interval of a and b and the same sum of the important point for the Simpson rule that should be mentioned here if f of x is a polynomial function of degree greater than or less than greater than or equal to 3 then the Simpson rule is gives the exact value means if uh, degree having the 2 or 3 then Simpson value gives the exact answer if the degree is 0 or 1 then also Simpson gives the exact answer if the tabulated interval is haveled the error of reduce reduced by the 32 means error should be reduced by the 32 value okay in the uh, trapezoidal rule the error will be reduced by the 8 value and here the error will be reduced by 32 okay in general simpson rule is more accurate than the trapezoidal rule okay because there are the more number of points used in the trapezoidal uh, simpson rule that's why it gives the better accuracy okay the simpson rule with n points of gear points gives as much as accuracy as the trapezoidal rule with 2n means if we consider n is a 3 in the simpson rule and n is the 6 in the trapezoidal rule that gives the exact value same value means that much accuracy provided by the Simpson rule. Now we see the what are the different problems how to solve with this uh, error bound method so that we see in this video. Now here we having the problem that if we integrate f of x 5 x cube minus 3 x square plus 2 x plus 1 from the x minus 1 to x 0 using the Simpson rule. So I place for first write the integration and the error due to Simpson rule we have to find that. So i is equal to integral of minus 1 to 1 uh, the f of x will be 5 cube minus 3 x square plus 2 x plus 1 ok. So this is the integration. So here we have to find the error due to the Simpson rule. 
so i first write the formula for the error that is error due to simpson rule is greater than equal to they are mentioned here m4 b minus a raised to 5 120 and raised to 4 so this is the formula to finding the error but we have to, we want first value of m4 so m4 is the maximum integral that is f4 of x so this is our f of x so we have to differentiate four times this f of x so first i will write the f of x value that is 5 cube minus 3x square plus 2x plus 1 now i firstly integrate this f dash of x that will give us 3 into 5 that is 15 x square minus 6x plus 2 so this is the first integration now i find the second integration so this will give us 30x minus 6 okay now third integration that will give us 30 and the last one will be fourth integration that will give us 0 okay so this is the fourth integration so to find the error by simpson rule simpson rule the error must be because m4 is 0 here b minus a so b minus a will be minus 1 to 1 sorry 1 to minus 1 so that gives a plus raised to 5 divided by 120 into n n is the number of steps so that will not required here because the value is 0 so the value we get 0 so this is our a option okay now we are use, uh, finding the error for the trapezoidal rule in the next problem so look the problem here if the trapezoidal rule is used to evaluate integration 0 to 1 e x square dx with the 10 sub interval mean they were given the value interval n value then the absolute error cannot be exceeds so we have to find the error here so first we are writing the integration that is integration 0 to 1 e raised to x square dx so what is our f of x f of x is e raised to x square and they also given the value of n that is 10 so what is our formula to find the error for the trapezoidal rule that is gives us m2 b minus a cube 12 n square so this is the formula to finding the error for the trapezoidal rule so first we have to find the m2 m2 is the double derivative of f of x so that we can say double derivative so here first we find the double derivative of that so f dash of x will be here it's a uh, e raised to x square into 2x okay now we find it double integration the double derivative so it is u it is v so first is u into u derivative of v plus v derivative of u so u derivative of v so u remain as it is okay derivative of v gives us 2 plus derivative of v remain as it is derivative of u that will give x square and the derivative of this x square that is 2x so final equation gives us 2 e x square e raised to x square plus 4 x square e raised to x square so this is our double derivative value so we have to find the maximum value for this so we having the 0 and 1 so between this interval we have to find the maximum value so that will gives us so i write here f double dash of 0 first okay if we put the 0 value in this equation so i write here the for the sake of understanding f double dash of 0 f double dash of zero, if we put 0 so e 0 e dash to 0 is 1 so that will give us 2 plus 4 into this value that will give 0 and this e raised to 0 is 1 so we can say so that will give us 2 so f double dash of 0 is 2 now we put f double dash of 1 so f double dash of 1 put the 1 value here so 2 this uh, e raised to 1 is e plus 4 into 1 square uh, e raised to 1 is e so that will give us 6 e okay so 60 value we have to find it find here so 6 into e sorry e e1 into 6 
okay so 3096 we get a value here now we put this value here so in place of m2 we put this value that will give us 16.3096 into b b will be 1 a will be 0 because it's a limit from the 0 to 1 cube 12 into n n we know that is 10 the given in the equation problem or the square okay now we finding the answer for that 16.3096 into 1 cube okay written as it is divided by 12 divided by 10 raised to 10 square that will give us answer 0 0.0136 we round up up to 4 digit because the answer is in up to 4 digit so that so 0 0.0136 so answer is a again here so in this way you have to solve the error bound problem so that's all for this video if you like this video do like share and subscribe the channel thank you